It is the agency's. This was Syed Salim Shahzad three weeks before his death. Mumbai. After Osama bin Laden, uh, they would work to expand the war theater. He was an expert on everything to do with Pakistan's security and extremist groups. As a journalist for the Asia Times, Shahzad developed key contacts on all sides of this region's conflicts. He knew militants, the military, and Pakistani intelligence, and he wrote critically about all of them. Salim Shahzad was not liked by the military intelligence agencies, he was not liked by the government, he was not liked by the extremist people. There were many who wanted to stop his work. Now someone has. Shahzad was abducted in Islamabad. Two days later, his body was found 100 miles away, floating in a canal. Police released pictures showing he had been beaten and tortured. Media war, safety! Media war, safety! Media Pakistani journalists have united in blaming one organization, the ISI, Pakistan's powerful military intelligence agency. His friends and colleagues say months earlier, Shahzad wrote emails claiming the ISI had threatened him because of his work. Salim Shahzad himself told us when he was alive that if I will be killed, ISI will be responsible. The ISI has publicly denied any involvement in Salim Shahzad's murder. The Pakistani government has announced a judicial inquiry will investigate it. But it's all little comfort to Pakistan's journalists as the country's interior minister learned when he tried to speak to some of them. They very strongly suspect that an apparatus of your government was responsible for this killing. Do you share that suspicion? Well, uh, unless the investigation takes place, I would not like to share that view. One of those shrieking loudest at the minister believes he was also a victim of ISI brutality. Journalist Uma Chima says he was politely warned and threatened to stop writing stories critical of Pakistan's military. He didn't stop. He was later abducted. I was uh, stripped knackered and they started beating me with a whip and with a, uh, uh, with a wooden rod and they did it for uh, 25 minutes um, and uh, then they had my head shaved. Chima says he was released after seven hours. The ISI also denies all those allegations. I miss him much. Hassan Tariya Ali was one of Shahzad's closest colleagues. He says his friend knew the risks. A number of times I discussed with him that uh, don't you feel worried when you write or criticize someone? He said no, it's my duty to criticize each and every person. That commitment to the truth has proved fatal in a country now considered by international groups to be the most dangerous in the world for journalists. A country where those responsible for attacking journalists are rarely, if ever, brought to justice. Phil Black. CNN, Islamabad.